Hi, welcome to Upward Look TV. Microchip implant technology has been around for decades. British cybernetics professor Kevin Warwick, in 1998, was one of the first to undergo a surgical procedure to get a silicon chip implanted in his body. These have been implanted in humans for some years now. We have reliable information that soon, the global elitists behind the New World Order, or One World Government, will carry out a forceful implantation of microchips, into citizens around the world. And if you refuse to be implanted with the chip, you will be arrested and forcefully implanted. Those who already got the chips and become rebellious, will have their chips deactivated and they will have nothing. No social security number, no birth certificate, no money, no nothing. Without the chip, as far as the government is concerned, you do not exist and cannot be a citizen. The Bible warns of the beast and his mark in Revelation 18 verses 16, 18. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand, or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Though the microchip is not the mark of the beast. I will upload another video soon, which clearly identifies the beast, his mark and how to avoid getting it. So, subscribe to be notified when the video is uploaded. Now, the video you are about to watch, reveals the secret plan to implant microchips, and control you by those behind the New World Order. My responsibility was project leader or the, pro the senior project engineer. We begin to work on the design of a microchip that, when it was completed, was 0.75 millimeters in diameter, 7 millimeters long. It was the size of one-fourth of a grain of rice. Again, I want to say that I was not a Christian and there were no Christians there. They said they wanted this to have a power source and be able to emit a signal. And they told us they wanted us to use lithium as a battery source. Lithium's used in watch batteries, it's used in uh, heart pacemaker batteries, it's used in a lot of places. I designed into this microchip a little charging circuit that would charge that battery. This sounds like a lot of technical things coming together, but if you'll bear with me one minute, you'll see what God has laid out about this microchip. When we discovered that we needed to know, we needed to be able to charge that battery. I needed a temperature change, a change in temperature, to cause current to flow through that little charging circuit that would charge the battery. So I began to, we began to investigate and find out where in the body does the temperature change the most rapidly. We spent over a million dollars in taxpayer money, and when the results came back, there were the information, uh, there was a lot of information. We divided it up amongst three teams, and then came back together with that information. It was determined that there were two places in the body that were ideal for the microchip. One was just below the hairline on the forehead. Every mother checks their child's temperature right here. So we could have paid the mothers a million dollars and saved a... I never saw a mother check their child's temperature on their ankle. Always right here. The other place was the hand, the right hand preferred, because wow. most people are right-handed. This didn't bother me, and it didn't bother anybody else on the team. The hand seemed a good place. Nobody wanted it here. And so the design work, everything was completed, the microchip was done. You are seeing it now on some of the Discovery Channel presentations. Uh, uh, there are people who have received it already. It is real. It's not something that's Shake coming that. way down the road. They gave me a Bible. They told me not to read the book of Revelation. They said the book of Revelation is, uh, is too hard to understand. So I waited and I didn't read the book of Revelation for quite some time. Then one day I came to Revelation 13, verse 16. 
And he caused us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. I didn't like what I saw. I went back and looked up the word mark. I went to the Strong's Concordance, and I found that John had used three words for the word mark. Char, char, charagma, charakter, and charax. That was from the Greek. I looked at those words. They talked about a scratch or an etching. They talked about a lot of things. And I said, God, this isn't it. We didn't do it. He said, go to the word for 666. The word is chixastigma. In the Greek, it says to go to 4742 as a cross, the last half of the word chixastigma. And when I looked at what it said, it says, stizo, i.e. to stick, to prick, a mark incised or punched into for recognition of ownership. I thought about the little injection tool. The end of it is called an incisor. I began to weep and I began to cry and I said, oh God, what have we done? I couldn't believe that this lined up with what we had developed. And I began to run from God. I didn't run away from the church. I ran into the church. I tried to do as many things as I could to, to atone for this. But I want to tell you something. As God is my witness here tonight, this got in the way. Money got in the way. I had beautiful homes overlooking the lake. I had, a, I had all the things that I wanted. And I ran because of the money. My ability to go and get a quarter million dollars in research money took me away from telling the message. I ran for many years. What I want to tell you is that this is real. The microchip implant is real. Credit cards are failing. They, they can be counterfeited. The new smart card can be counterfeited. They can be stolen, they can be uh, lost, all kinds of things can happen to a card. But you cannot lose your hand. Very quickly they're going to move to this being in the hand. And I tell you as a Christian, you cannot take this. No matter what anybody says, God's Word says you cannot take it. No matter what they try to talk you into, God's Word says don't take it. In Revelation 14, verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. It's very simple. God's word says to do not take it. Today there have been over 15,000 babies that have been given the positive identification, the microchip. Many companies are using the microchip as identification in their top-level employees. The Immigration Naturalization Service has a better passport, the human hand. So many of these things are all around us. We talk about the signs of the New World Order. God has spelled out in His Word just exactly what's going on today in the New World Order. Satan, Satan desires to have a one world government. From the time he fell, he said, I want a one world government. He wants to replace God. And so we see a government put together by men, a one world government. The signs of the times are all around us. Friends, there you have it first-hand information from someone who worked with them. What are we going to do now? Sit down, fold our arms and wait to be implanted. No, I don't think so. We have to get everyone informed and warned. 
So share this video and let it go viral. Thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe and like.